right, so good morning, maybe. Um, we are on the Carnival Magic. We are cruising back to Miami. Thankfully, this is the first of two sea days at the end of the trip, so we got one more day to enjoy tomorrow. The evening, it's formal night tonight, so I gotta change out of this shirt, put something a little nicer on um, later on. But this morning, we have the military appreciation that I'm looking forward to. Um, later on, there's the Diamond Platinum event. So um, a lot in store. And then, like I said, it's formal night tonight. So I'm going to get one of those free lobsters. So again, look at the beautiful wake. Um, this is my favorite room on the ship. We get to, to wake up and see that wake going in the, in the distance there. So, um, so let's get things started. Good morning. Welcome to our military appreciation gathering. First of all, give yourselves a huge hand for being here this morning. The one thing that these really did for my husband, and I don't even know if he realizes it, when we first met, he always downplayed um, his role in the military and what it was um, and what it meant to freedom really all over the world. Um, anytime somebody would say thank you for your service or anything, he'd be like, okay, whatever, I didn't do anything. And I'm like, you were literally driving giant ships through minefields. You were, you know, I mean, you were doing a lot. You went to a lot of dangerous places, did a lot. After our first one of these military appreciations and getting those connections with people that shared those similar experiences, he applied for a pin for the Royal, um, for Her Majesty's Royal Navy. He takes a lot of pride in what he did now, and he never had that before. So I think finding the connection on these ships did so much for him appreciating what he did and realizing that it's okay to appreciate what you do because I think sometimes you can get so many mixed sentiments out there in the world that it's, it's okay. It's okay to appreciate what you do. You guys do amazing things. Um, and for what? You know, you're, you're giving of yourself for other people's freedom as well as yourself and you should, you should be proud of that. There's absolute, you absolutely should be proud of that. And it's been so wonderful for me to see that change in my husband and I really do give a lot of credit to Carnival for that because if it wasn't for this kind of camaraderie and this open forum and people being able to speak, I don't know that he would have gotten there. So that's my two cents. For Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Also give a special shout out to our women who have served or are currently serving in the military. Let's give it up for all the ladies. Ladies, stand yeah. up and raise those hands. Give it up for the ladies. Uh, but in all seriousness, do we have any World War II vets with us here today? Any World War II vets? World War II vet? Uh, if you wouldn't mind just sharing a little bit about your story. Well, I enlisted and uh, my mother signed for me to get in at 17. And uh, my dad thought they needed two signatures. All I needed was one. <laughs> so, that makes uh, is in it, uh, two years of going home. And then years, I'm glad I was because you were building bridges and building dams and uh, uh, the popular bridges and so on, which was easy enough to get across where they were supposed to be. And pick it up. Aircraft bodies. I never heard the cat. One crash a quarter mile from the barracks, and 11 men got killed. Two of them all alive. One medic that got killed, one bomber going off up from it. I knew him, he was in the medics. He was transferred from his chaplain's assistant to the medics. And chaplain got him from the bomb went off the chapel down and gave him back to the head. Uh, it, it was a messy. Burnt bodies of them, most of them in a fetal condition. Station with me. I ordered all in some time. 
use engineers as well, and he would operate any kind of machinery there was, whether we've seen it before or not. He came in with a liaison training for training, and when, when I'll train, when they come back, they park it. I thought he was going to get it written. I, I, I'm glad he didn't. Uh, it was uh, a long time over. Missed the family most. And we were, would you tell us a little bit about, about the both of you? Would you tell us a little bit about the both of you? How old were you when you met you two, and how long have you been? How long have you been together? Twelve. When I first met you. Twelve. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was a different time back then. Twelve. Oh my goodness, and how long have you been together? I, mean, I, I assume you're married now. Uh, how long have you been married? Sixty-seven years. Sixty-seven yeah. years. Yeah. God bless you both, and what is your name? Marilyn. Marilyn. Give it up for these two. Thank you so much. Folks, how are we doing this afternoon? Are we good? Yeah. Wonderful. Welcome to your VIFP party, everybody. My name is Jake. I'm your cruise director. Can I get a big hey, Jake? Hey, Jake. 27. Are you ready? It's for single people only. It's the Carnival Desperation. And guess who's going to be the cruise director on that one? Me. Because I am desperate. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't have a name yet, but it's coming very, very soon. Also, very exciting news with Celebration Key opening the second half of next year in the Bahamas. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, this ship will be going there next year as well. If they're coming back to cruise on the match in the second half of next year, we'll be going to Celebration Key, which is very exciting. You want to see the dance moves? Here we go. Uh, which is the youngest VIFP guest, uh, a guest that has turned diamond and is so young. Yes. Uh, now we have two. They have to be brothers, okay? Now the youngest VIFP guest is a platinum guest, six years old. His brother is eight and just turned diamond this cruise. It goes to Lorenzo and Giovanni! Now, Miss Ada. You have a choice. You can take your plaque, or you can take any one of these fine looking gentlemen up here. What would you like? Take the plaque. She's ah! Jerry was ready, Jerry was ready. It goes to the guests on board that has the most sailing days. With 734 days. We have Mr. Michael and Miss Elia C. Give it up for them. They like to do their own thing. I like it. There you go, that's for you, Mike. Come on over. Just kill the man. 
Hey everybody, I'm Cruz Director Jake. You are watching Coach Cruz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with everyone. I just can't get away.